Hi everyone, this is Jessica Alba. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a very special guest, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Thank you. Hello, thank you, thank you. I'm very excited. I'm warming up my coffee. You have all the titles. You're an actor, a director, a writer. You're a dad, entrepreneur, musician too. It's funny because when you say like a legit musician, sometimes that means like, oh, I've made my, I've never made any money making music. Okay, so I define a musician as someone who creates music and whether you do it as a living and make money off of it, that for me isn't what makes someone a musician. So let's get our face washed because I feel like this is something you do a lot when you're on set. When you're shooting a movie, you're always a makeup on or a TV show or anything, which is what I was in the middle of shooting a couple months ago before we had to stop. Can you tell everyone about it? It's called Mr. Corman. I'm writing and directing and acting in it. It came from me just sort of thinking about what else my life could be. It's my baby. I've been trying to put it together for years. There you go. We're gonna do a little skincare. I'm gonna use a gentle gel cleanser, and you are going to use magic gel to milk cleanser. Yeah. It's great every day, every morning. It's really gentle. You're being very rough with your face. <laughs> you oh, should, is that too, too just hard? Like, yeah, you should be a little more gentle with your face. You can get the Conjac sponge. I like to put really warm water on it. Oh, and that? Then, yeah, feels nice, right? Not gonna lie, that's pleasant. Feels and nice. And you get that nice exfoliation. Try to be more gentle with my face, so I'm not gonna like rub it. Now get the organic facial oils. If you put a couple of drops, I like to use this oil if I feel like my skin has been a little drier and overworked. You just rub that everywhere. And those are natural smells, right? It smells good, right? Yeah, there's all essential oils. And then you can get the three-in-one detox mask. And this is great for all skin types. I use this with my kids. I use this with cash. And you can just really go for it. Yeah, you can use How a lot. How much do I do? This much? Yeah, even more. Sweet. Layer it on nicely. That's good? Now, yeah, you can rinse your hands. You can get the little clear square, the magic bomb, right? Yeah, that's it. And you can put that on your lips and under the eyes. Maybe talk to us a little bit about how you thought through creating Hit Record. The thing that makes Hit Record unique is, is that it's all about collaboration and people being creative together. But your question about how did I like come up with it, the answer is I, I didn't exactly. I was going to college, I quit acting and go to college. But see, I'm so jealous of you because I always wanted to go to college. This is a long time ago also. I wanted to get back into acting and uh, no one would give me a part. And it was painful. I so badly want to express myself, but I'm not being given the outlet to do it. I need to do it myself. Hit record to me was just, it was like this little turn of phrase I came up with. It was like a little rallying cry and the symbol of the record button became this like metaphor for me of like, I'm gonna be the one to push that button. I'm not gonna wait around for someone else to point a camera at me. Like, I'm gonna hit the record button. That's cool, I like that. That's what it was at the beginning. And then some of the things that I started making, little short films and songs and stuff, I wanted to like put them on the internet. And so my brother helped me set up this little website. A community started to form. And then he was like, hey, should we put a, like, a message board on the website? And I was like, uh, I don't know. In the beginning, people were so scared until they realized that it's the best place if you want to tell your story unfiltered. As much as I think there are some really big problems with the way that it's unfolding that we as a generation have to try to course correct, I, I remain very optimistic that technology can be something that's hugely positive. I don't know if you can relate, but because I started acting so young, I felt like I was very serious. I didn't get fun until I became a mom, wanting to giggle with them, wanting to pretend play with them. The nighttime dance party with the kids became a thing. I think I found like my inner child. It does feel like you get to go back. This time I'm getting to see it from the dad's point of view, but it's like the same story almost. You know when you feel like you're the protagonist in your own 
movie. But now that I'm a dad, there's these, these new protagonists in the story. I'm the supporting character. Yeah, that's so true. I love, I love, I love being a dad. I definitely think of my memories as a kid at their age and now Honor is 12. Honor writes and draws. Our project this summer, she says that she wants to do a series of toddler books for Hayes. That's the best, oh. That's... And Haven wants to make little shorts. We should do a project with them on Hit Record. Yeah, that would be fun. If like Honor and I wanted to write books, could we do something like that? Yeah, you could start your own project. Like if you start a project on Hit Record, you'd say if you wanted to make a book, you wanted to make a kid's book, you'd start the project and say, okay, here's what we're making our kid's book about, here's our basic idea, and then you could set up steps of what are the steps to make that project. Here's a writing step, and we want writers to contribute to this. Once we pick the writing, we've nailed that down, then here's an illustration step, and you can find illustrators to contribute to that step, and hopefully finish something together with other people. So it helps you kind of like pull together your collaborators and organize a project so you can finish it. Oh, that's cool. I think that you and I should do an ASMR scary story series. What do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. Get the vitamin C. Yeah, okay. This, you can use day and night. Okay. It's two types of hyaluronic acid and it has vitamin C and it just like brightens up your skin. And then you can put the eye cream on. Okay. There you go. So do a couple drops of the oil. This one? And then you can do a couple pumps of the Radiance Moisturizer. So there we go. Thank you so much. Why don't you tell everyone all of the products that they can watch you in. 7500 just came out. It was a very intense movie. You in a plane on Amazon and people can check it out. Come to Hit Record. Download the app or just come check out our site if you're feeling creative. So go to hitrecord.org, sign up, and your creative juices are going to start flowing. Guys, I hope you like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what other kind of videos Joe and I should do. What kind of creative cool content? Concepts do you have? Peace and love.